I was always um, because I read theatre arts, we did a lot of speaking roles, we did a lot of, of, lot of pantomimes and mimes. And I used to love um, Ruth Benamisia way back on NTA News and of course Abike Dabiri. I used, to, I used to love them a lot. And I used to see myself like actually sitting down reading the news and doing some backstory reports and stuff like that, even though I didn't read journalism. And this is one of the things that um, I was shown, like my future was shown to me that this is where you're going to be. You're going to use this platform to propagate my kingdom when you're ready and ripe, you know. And, and uh, he provided a platform, he provided the finance. It was very easy. I'm sure you were part of it when I launched. And uh, it has, since then, it has been success stories. Yeah, challenges here and there, but it's just been success stories all along. So. It was targeted at focusing on um, on the you know youths, on um, um, social issues, um, um, other stories that are very impactful. People who do so much and people don't hear about them, and stuff like that. And and. We got a very huge brand partnering with us, and then also they they are also giving us their own ideas. So we we've had this very good partnership with with, the, with that particular brand, and it's been amazing. So I just want to say thank God for that show, and it would be a phenomenal show. It would be a show that people want to be identified with. People want to associate themselves with the show, to be, it to be an impactful, a, 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 an innovation, and in, you know, it's, it's going to be a platform that will actually sell itself to the, to the global space. So people should watch out for it. I listen to, you know, gospel music. I'm a lover of gospel music, a lover of gospel. I'm not even ashamed of it. It's, um, yeah, and then I find time to also travel. I love to go to serene places. It could be somewhere in Ugudu, Cattle Ranch, in Cross Rivers Dale. It could just be somewhere in, in um, the mountains in, uh, in, in, um, in um, Nairobi. I just like to go to places who are quiet and just meditate and just appreciate God's work. That's, for me, that's just the best thing that can ever happen to me, yeah. I would love to be remembered as a woman who would, who is a, a voice to the voiceless, um, a woman who is there to bring about peace, humanity, not not of course not the peace from not divine peace, but um, where there's a mist of chaos and all that. I want to be seen as someone who calms the storm, like physically, not you know, not the other way around, just comes the storm. I like to be seen as somebody who gives um, the shoulder for, for people who are down and distressed to cry on and and not to look down on anybody. I do not um, discriminate. And finally a woman who um, um, is ready, her doors are open to um, to to just give help in every in any way, either a platform for you to air your voice, in any way possible that um, I'm you know I'm able to. That's a very serious question. I've not thought what does money mean to me? It means absolutely nothing compared to an everlasting, sustainable life. It doesn't mean anything to me. It doesn't mean that saving it in the bank makes me the best manager of money or no, it doesn't mean anything. Saving it in the bank means somebody is feeding on it and using it to do business. Money means giving, just spread it and help, help propagate the kingdom of God, help people and not be selfish about it because it's not yours. Money is not yours, just like life. Life doesn't belong to you. Yes, temporary, but it's my wedding ring. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you that. Why well, should I tell you how much my wedding ring costs? I invest my money in people. Wow. That's the truth. 
I have a film academy in Port, in Port Harcourt. People are almost go in there for free to take free lectures. I really don't know why. Because that place has to run itself. People, could you help me? <laughs> so I just, I invest money on people. How I make money is sell an idea to government agencies. They give me people to train and I do that. Which money? <laughs> it's my beloved career, but there's no money in this industry. No, leave all this uh, social media. There's no money. So we just love the, we love our career. When you see us, we're happy just doing it. It doesn't mean there's money. We make money from goodwill. When they call you, come and sit down and just sit pretty, we'll pay you what, two million. That's how we make money. It's just nothing to write home about. And I'm not going to go into that detail. They have streams of income. If you go to their social media handle, there's uh, advertising one thing or the other. That's how they make money, not from the job. Yes, influencing, thank you, that's the word. I do influencing sometimes, yes, I do. I do. It's very calm. Where there's a storm, you will not even think somebody is there. He's very calm. Two, he's very handy, hands-on. And three, he's always making sure I'm fine. He'll call, I'm sure my phone is ringing, are you okay? He's just making sure that I'm okay. So that's it. 